Well, it's day 10 and uh, well, not day nine where we would have hopefully baked this bread. But uh, what had happened last night and I didn't get it on video is um, I let this sit out for about four hours um, on the counter and I checked uh, the proof on it that I knew how to, which was just the touch test. It's basically checking how back, how fast it springs back. Um, I'm not an expert on this. I've only done it a couple times. It didn't seem like it was ready. It seemed like it was still too wet. Um, it just didn't look ready. Um, so I let it go a couple more hours. It still didn't look good. So I wrapped it back up and put it in the fridge overnight. It might be overproofed. I'm not sure. I guess we'll be able to tell once it bakes if it doesn't have any of that uh, oven spring. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So I've had the oven on at 500 degrees for a little over half hour at this point with my Lodge cast iron Dutch oven. So that thing is preheated. I'm going to pull it out. I'm actually going to bake this on the lid uh, for about 25, 30 minutes, pull the pot off, which is essentially the lid and let it um, bake for another 20 minutes or so and get nice and golden brown, hopefully. And then we got to cool it down. So I'm going to unwrap this thing, let you guys see what it looks like. I can show you what I'm seeing. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing in the oven and hopefully we have some bread that's edible here in a little bit. All right, so here is our bread or dough, I should say. And uh, what we're looking for that I knew, well, first off, you can see there's some gas bubbles here. I believe that is good. I believe that's uh, what you're looking for. But um, secondly, they have this thing where you push down in the bread and you can see my finger imprint as it slowly comes back up. Now, if it came up really fast or if it sank down and it stayed down there, I think those are what you're not looking for, but you can see it's rising back up. I think this is a little bit overproofed. Again, I'm not certain, but um, we're just gonna go with it. It's not sticking really too much to the cloth. We can see it pulling away. Um, you can see all the moisture as well. You can see the ring of moisture that was left over from last night. So we're gonna pull this uh, pot out of the oven and we'll get started. So, as I was just saying, I have uh, this set up upside down. So this is the pot and that's the lid, but I'm actually gonna bake <coughs> on the lid. So I give it a little more air space when I pull the, the top off and hopefully let it brown a little more. I'm gonna throw a little flour on here in hopes that uh, this helps it not stick. So I'm gonna use this little knife I forget what this is called, but this is for scoring the bread. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get a good, actually I'm gonna put it in here first and then try to score it. So I'm gonna just flip this out, put that on there. That's probably not how you're supposed to do it. That's uh, not the cleanest cut in the world, but at least it cut. And that should give us a nice uh, ear to work with. So I'm going to throw this guy back on top and then in the oven it goes for about 25-30 minutes. Alright, so my kitchen timer. I'm going to set it for 25 and then we'll look at it. Alright. So we'll be back in uh, about a half hour and check on the progress. It's been about 25 minutes, uh, actually, right there. That's 25 minutes right there. Uh, clear that off. And so we're gonna pull this out and take a look at it. Um, probably just pull the lid off, throw it back in for another 15, 20 minutes or so. And uh, hopefully this looks good. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. As you can see, we got a little bit of an ear. I thought I'd get more out of that with the cut, but uh, looking pretty good. Nice sized loaf. I like it. So we're gonna put it in for another 20 minutes or so. 
I'm gonna turn the temperature down to uh, 450. And it's off. So it looks really good. Um, gonna let it go and uh, then we're gonna have to throw it on the cooling rack which I don't actually have a cooling rack all I have is this wire rack I don't know exactly what this is for uh, I've cooked some chickens and stuff on it before but um, yeah we're just gonna throw it on this and then let it cool down for at least an hour maybe two um, I don't know why but uh, it says to cool your bread completely before cutting into it so that's what we will be doing and uh, We'll be checking back here shortly.